hello my queens and kings in the building welcome back once more so today we're gonna be spilling out a very sad and shocking news especially for most of us that we are fans of tia maori so if you don't know who tia maori is you can go and check her out but for most of us that we are huge fans we are so sad because her beautiful marriage she decided to call it an end because she was the one that filed for divorce for Corey Hadrick. Now, according to TMZ News, Tia Maori has filed for divorce from her husband of 14 good years, Corey Hadrick. Tia filed the papers in Los Angeles, citing irreconcilable differences. That could be anything. We know that that could be just anything. It doesn't mean that there is there have been third parties or maybe a party, one of them cheated. No, that could be anything. Let us not also forget that this couple, they've been dating for a very long time before they got married. They dated for nine years before they got married in 2008. Until this year, they were still married. So they've married for 14 years, adding the nine years, that is 20 something years together. So it's huge, it's a very, very long time together. They have two beautiful children together. They have Cairo, which is four years old, and Cree, which is 11 years old. So Tia Maori has decided to file because she is the petitioner. Tia Maori is the petitioner, while the respondent is Corey Hadrick. So like I said, according to TMZ, Tia Maori decided to file for divorce. Her reasons are just because of irreconcilable differences. Those are the reasons for the determination or the ending of her marriage a date of separation was not clear another aspect of it all is that tia is also asking the judge to terminate spousal support to either she is noting that the couple has a prenup already so she is trying for the judge to terminate any spousal support so i think that is going to be a kind of both of them taking care of the kids and the good thing about this is that there is no third party in between at least for now there is nothing like third party we've not heard anything like third party it's just that i think they are tired the marriage has been worn out and it used to happen in some cases where the marriage is so long and maybe they just feel like the best thing for them to do is to go their separate ways amicably. Everything's going to be just the same, just that they are no longer together as husband and wife. And maybe they want to try some other angles or other kind of lifestyle, which they feel that living together as husband and wife, they will not be able to accomplish. I equally believe, just this is me here doing my own assumptions, I equally believe that they've outgrown the marriage. Maybe what needs to fulfill them before is no longer fulfilling them again. Although people say that they still love each other, but they are no longer in love, which is normal. They can love each other, but no longer in love because they've stayed, they've stayed so much years together. So the love will still be there, although they don't feel anything for each other again. The marriage, they've, it has been worn out. They are tired. Maybe they've tried to work on it so many times, but at the end of the day, they found out that nothing will work. The strange thing, the most important thing, or something that is drawing my attention is that Early this year, Corey, when it was their anniversary, Corey sent her a very sweet words to the wife, Tia Mori, and he was telling her that she is the love of his life and he will be with her forever. And for Tia Mori to just all of a sudden file for divorce, just, just like that, is somehow strange. That is my own. I'm thinking that why is it this? Why did she rush it? Because there was nothing just like that. She just filed for divorce. Just fast, fast. On the fourth of this month, she filed. She filed for divorce fast, fast, fast. But the most important thing is that 
Prenup is in place, no money disputed, no third parties, just they want to split off and maybe, like I said, try so other new things that they feel they will not be able to try. So we are going to be taking the comment Tia Mari dropped to her beautiful and most loved fans for them to hear everything from her before any other thing. She wanted to clear the air and we are going to be taking this comment right now and it stays like this. I have always been honest with my fans and today is no difference. I wanted to share that Corey and I have decided to go our separate ways. These decisions are never easy and not without sadness. We will maintain a friendship as we co-parent our beautiful children. I am grateful for all the happy times we had together and want to thank my friends, family and fans for your love and support as we start this new chapter moving forward in our lives. So this was what she sent two days ago to her loving fans all over the world that really cares for her family. She wanted them to know from her, her decision, her current decision that she is no longer going to be with the husband, that they have decided to go their separate ways, but they still love each other for the love they have for their beautiful children, the love they've spent so many years, and they've been able to build an empire on their own, a brand on their own, and so much more. She wanted to let the fans know that this is what is happening. So we'll be drawing our cuttings here. Let me know down in the comment section below what you think about Tia Maori and the husband, or let us say the separated or the divorce between them. If you feel this third party, but to me, I simply believe that the love has withered away. No third parties. They just feel like going their separate ways. They want to try something else. They want to experience new things. They want to have this. It's normal. It's normal. Not everybody is born to stay with his or her partner for the rest of his or her lives. But for the father, they have two beautiful children together. I believe they are going to make it work so that the kids will not have to notice it much that the parents have divorced and whatever and whichever way finally they choose to stay is good for them and it's also good for us. We are going to support them all because we so much love them. We so much love Tia Maori. And yeah, so I'll be drawing my cuttings here. And if you've not yet subscribed, this is your first time stumbling across my channel. This is Jessie Queen, and in this channel, I do videos like this. If you find this video interesting, if you find it informative, please kindly subscribe to my channel, share with friends and family, tell a friend to tell a friend to watch my contents. Bye bye. Catch you in my next one.